Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, let's uh, discuss the Angular routing. So basically, Angular has inbuilt uh, a routing feature. Um, uh, since Angular is the framework, it is coming up with the inbuilt uh, routing feature. And uh, routing Angular routing helps uh, the user to navigate from one page to another page. Since this is a single page application, we are not actually completely routing from one page to another application. Instead, uh, we are um, replacing the content of the main page, uh, which is app component.html. And uh, based on the user, user navigation, we replace the content uh, within the body of the HTML section with the uh, routed page content. So this is how the Angular uh, routing works. Now let's look at the real-time code and understand this better. Let's look at the Angular routing. So before we actually write the code to understand the Angular routing, there are few things that we need to discuss. So when we actually create the Angular application, so there will be a file called approuting.module.ts. This is one of the uh, major file for rou Angular routing. And this is where we are going to provide all the route routes to a different component within the Angular application. And to use the Angular routing feature in the app module.ts file, we need to make the entry of route Angular router module. So by default, when you create the application, this module is not going to be imported. And uh, we need to make the entry of router module and uh, import the router module here. Then only the Angular uh, routing is going to work. So let's uh, uh, start with the uh, code. So with right now, since I already started the application, there is nothing right now. So let's start by adding few routes to this and understand. So I'm adding two navigation bars on the top. So if you see, there is a dashboard and a, a profile. Okay, now this is one way to set the routing using router link in the HTML itself. And this is a route. What I'm saying when I click the dashboard, navigate to this particular dashboard uh, route. And I am setting one more route here, profile. But right now, there is nothing. So these routes are not created. That's why nothing is happening. And what we will do is, we will create two components. So ng generate component dashboard. I'm, I'm using Angular schematics to generate the component. And if you see dashboard component is created. And Along with this, I'm creating a profile component. And now I got profile component as well. Okay. Now let me write the routing. So right now, since we, we have components, profile and dashboard, still it won't work because we need to write that uh, routing logic. So right now, dashboard and profile. So the important file that I just talked, I talked about is app routing within this routing file. We need to make the entry for the route. Okay, so it will be the path. So the path should be the actual URL. And this particular path will be replaced in after this application context. Okay, once we click it. And within this, when we click that, um, when we click that particular route, what component it should display. Okay, right now I'm setting it as dashboard component. And there is one more route, which is profile. For that, again, let's say profile and profile component. Now you see we have two routes. Now let's click and see. If you see, see dashboard works. This is the dashboard content. And when I click profile, profile works and you see the profile content, the, DAC, the content. Right now, we haven't navigated from one page to another page. Instead, every time when we click a route, so basically since this is a, a single page application, 
so every time when you click a route this is the app route okay and if you see go go to the angular tab and if you see the injection tree and you click dashboard and now if you see here within the app component there is a router outlet and dashboard component so through the routing dashboard component is rendered on to app component okay now let me click profile okay now we are in profile now if you go and see app component within the app component profile component rendered on to app component as a child component and through the router outlet okay so there are router outlet loaded this profile component into app component this is how you should understand now that's how it is working now so since this profile and uh, dashboard both are referred in this particular routing class for that reason it is working okay now let's see how we can call the space same routing not directly from this particular html instead how we can do it from the uh, typescript because we will have um, situations where we need to um, route uh, based on the scenario like if there is some logic performed and based on the outcome of that particular logic we may need to route to a different page uh, uh, depend upon, depends upon the uh, response depending upon the response so for that type of scenario we need to route uh, uh, to the different uh, component from the typescript file so now let's see how we can perform this uh, routing from the typescript file so right now i'll just add a button route to dashboard i'll say button name and click event route to dashboard okay now if you see the button okay i need this function then it will load the page okay now as of now if you see there is a button okay so there is a button let me just push this button to center I'm just formatting it. Okay, now this is a button. Okay, when I click this button, I wanted to navigate to dashboard screen instead of directly clicking this route. Okay, I wanted to click the button and navigate to the uh, dashboard screen. For that, what I need to do is within the uh, route to dashboard function, and um, to use this, I need a constructor with a router. So this is the router module. So I'm using this router module and this dot router dot. So there are two methods. One is navigate, another one is navigate URL. Right now let's look at navigate. Here, what I'll say is I'll say profile. Oh sorry, it's a dashboard. Okay. Okay. And now i am routing it to dashboard from here i'll add one more function which will route to profile as well so let me add one more button out to profile okay now if you check here when i click this 
see when i click route to dashboard it is routed to the dashboard from the typescript file from this particular function okay now let's click route to profile again profile it is navigated to profile not from the direct link from html instead from the button by when i click the button it is clicking this uh, routing through the uh, via router okay and right now how we can pass the parameters okay for suppose if there is something like this okay okay let's see now let's check from here for suppose if i want to pass a parameter okay in the app routing should refer like this okay now since it has id when i click it it won't navigate to that see now it is work not working because there is no matching um one matching url now when i click from the top it will go because there is a route matched routing like with a dashboard and an id okay so now i added id here this is how we can add the pass the parameter path parameter instead from the button if i want to from the button click if i want to navigate i can say like this and it will navigate now let's click this button let's go to the home folder now i'm clicking the button now it is navigating because there is a path parameter that i added this is how we can add the path parameter okay and there is one more way to use the same routing like uh, navigate to url let's use that method also this is one more way to navigate and within this you can simply say dashboard by one okay now attach to dashboard function about uh, dashboard uh, function and we need to click that uh, dashboard uh, button so now you see if you see navigate by url also work the same way see it is routed so um, you can either use this one or this one there is no issue but now when i navigate to the uh, dashboard i wanted to get hold of this parameter and perform some something on the page dashboard page so how i can do that now so once we go to navigate uh, dashboard class to get hold of the path parameter that is to get hold of the path parameter in this url okay the way we can do it is let's add the constructor okay within the constructor we need to get hold of the activator route okay so activated route okay this activated route will have the current activated route parameters along with the url okay so when i navigate to dashboard screen in this particular dashboard screen i wanted to get hold of this url and the parameter for that i need to use activated route this activated route will get the actual url and the parameters okay so now what i'll do is this dot route dot parameters it will get hold of the parameters and we need to subscribe to get hold of the parameters and use those values okay within this i'll say parameter equal to params of 0 since there is only one parameter it will have it will be in, in a array format if there are multiple multiple parameters it will have so now if you see i can take this parameter and print the parameter in the dashboard let's see okay now it is empty let's see now when i click dashboard okay we didn't get the parameter okay let's let's debug
now you can go to source to nav and uh, go to dashboard ts put a breakpoint here okay click the button i'm already here okay click the button now if you see parameters id oh i need to get hold of based on the id it is not in the array format it is in the object format okay that is the problem okay params dot id so that i can get hold of the value let's see params dot id now i'll get the params of id it is saying okay let's see that is coming yeah now if you see the parameter one we got the parameter one now see so now let's change that parameter to maybe 25 okay let's go back click this and if you see the parameter 25 got so this is how we can get get hold of the parameters okay well, let's look at a few minor things before we wrap up this core session so along with this there is something called we can even say empty file route directly to the profile component using redirect to profile and let's add profile component URL so what we are saying when I when there is if there is a just a default path match instead of loading this directly redirect to profile to route so profile route and display up the profile component okay so this is the initial uh, direct route so let's see when we go and hit this URL it will directly go to the profile okay there is something wrong let's see oh, okay so along with this we have to say path match value and it will say full so that means exact full path if it is matching that's when it will be loaded to the profile screen see now if i remove this and that this is the default url when i hit it it will directly it is directly going to the profile because we are redirecting this URL to profile that's why directly it is loading the profile so along with this there are some more things called children um, so this children when we hit this particular API URL that's when it will load the children's children components or children directives okay but right now since uh, angular 17 came up with the deferable views uh, feature and we no need to do the lazy loading from here instead we can use the uh, deferable feature and directly uh, use the lazy loading directly in the component itself no need to implement the uh, lazy loading from the routing okay so that's all from this session see you in the next video